Hello everyone, this is Cabe and Yaku again bringing you another lesson in jazz piano techniques. And today I'm going to show you guys um, a great way to practice the Barry Harris six diminished uh, scale of chords by using the song Fly Me to the Moon, a very popular jazz standard uh, done by, you know, very famous people, um, uh, Tony Bennett, uh, Frank Sinatra, you know, the list goes on and on. I also want to welcome you guys to become members of my website, kbnarcomusic.com, and that's where you can contact me and have, you know, access to me uh, all the time. Um, so let's dive right into it. So the melody is very simple. It's in the key of C. So we're going to stay in the C6 diminished, and also it changes to F sometimes where the key uh, center changes to F. So we're gonna use this also, right? Okay, so we're gonna, what we're gonna do is uh, use the rule of uh, the highest note being the melody, okay? So we're going to first try and play it with one hand, the melody, using just six diminished scale of chords, right? and make sure the melody is in the highest note, right? So, this is the melody. A section, right? Right, again? Yes, so that, that rather sounds good, so. So let's try that again, just using uh, C6 six, six diminished chords, making sure the melody is in the highest note. So over there, it's, although it's not part of the C6, the next note, the next chord in the uh, song is a D minor. But we're going to use um, B flat diminished to get to the D minor, it gives it more of a a fuller sound also adds some movement to it. So right? Over there you could do that for a diminished mm -hmm. right? Right? Okay. Then it moves from the uh, C major seven it moves to a C seven to uh, F major, so kind of a 5, 1, and F, and then it goes, okay, so let's try that part, Okay, so as you can see, all I'm doing is just playing around with the diminished chords, the six uh, diminished chords, and trying to figure out the harmony, okay? Again, uh, I'll go over it one time just slowly and just watch how I sing it using that rule of the melody being the highest note, right? So as you can see, I, I mix it up and I don't just do this all, all throughout the song. All I do is try and see where the melody fits, you know. Um, um, I, I, I'll give you an example. If I were to, um, let's say, play uh, this song, um, uh, let's see, Sad and Dull, right? Sad and Dull, the intro is, right? This is the intro. Um, right? 
right? So that's the intro, right? So. And that's the intro. I mean, that's how these guys used to arrange it, using that sixth diminished chord. So, you know, play around with some of the songs. Play around, um, you know, with the melodies and see what you can come up with, okay? Again, this Cave and Yonk will bring you another lesson in jazz piano techniques. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to uh, subscribe and send me a comment. Also, contact me by email, uh, Cave and Music at gmail.com and I'll be glad to answer your questions.